All right, guys, so we had a big update roll out this week. Uh, actually, the first part of the update rolled out last week, and today we rolled out uh, another big portion of this update, and uh, just wanted to make a training video on this, show you what's going on, what changed, and why this is doggone cool. All right, first things first, we are on the Kraken here, so this is definitely a Kraken CTR update. And uh, what we put in last week is we added in the option of allowing you to customize your campaigns even further, which is doggone cool. So let's go into create campaigns here. We'll click on create campaigns, create campaign. All right, so you name your campaign here, campaign name category, uh, kaboom. All right, number of views. Let's say we put in 200 views for the month. Okay, now, this is going to probably change in the next couple of days. I just got to talk to the programmers tomorrow and uh, see about this. had a couple of questions. But let's just say simpli simplify this without any additional things tossed in. Let's say we want to send in 200 views total for the month. And that may or may not be the actual amount that we're going to send, but we're going to put 200 bucks. Uh, 200 bucks. 200 views in for this particular campaign which could be a lot depending on the area the location the keywords etc so let's say we choose both desktop and mobile and for the actual calendar here this is how you could normally set it up you could do seven days 14 days 30 days go to advance choose the actual scheduler here or what we put in last week is the date scheduler okay so let's click on date scheduler. Now this is the big update that we added in, like I said last week, and today we added in another portion. Now what this allows you to do is set up custom campaigns of traffic, CTR traffic, based upon any date that you want. Multiple dates stretched out over however long that you want it to be. And this allows you to control your traffic 100%. So for example, let's say that before you set up a 30-day campaign, okay? Let's say you put in a 30-day campaign before and you're like, okay, I wanted to drip 15 CTR over 30-day period. Now the bot is only as smart as the bot is because it's just a robot, right? It doesn't think like us as humans, okay? So if you had 30 days set up before and it was going to do 15 days, it may have just chosen, hey, I think I will send traffic in the first 15 days. Or it's going to send traffic in randomly, which is something we hope it to do, but it may not actually do it. It may not do it in the time frame that we want. It may not do it on the number of days that we want. And perhaps in that 30 day period, even though we have 15 views, perhaps some days we wanted it to hit it more. Instead of just one view for 15 days over a 30 day period, what if we wanted to actually send three views in one day to the next, uh, five after that, one after that, one after that, two after that, one after that, two after that, three after that, one after that, etc., 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 etc. Okay? You could not do that before, but with this custom date scheduler, you totally could. And the way that you could do this now is, let's say we set this up, so we choose our day. Let's say we're gonna start out on the 23rd, and we're gonna leave time here. So time is optional. What this means basically is, if you do not fill in the time here, it will automatically drip it over a 24 hour period within that day. So let's say that you start this out on 8-3 and you wanna send uh, one view, okay, to one view. So you want to send one view in that one day. You'd click on add new date. Oops, okay, we got to put in this range. This is one of the things we want to talk to the programmer. So you want to send between one and two views for that day. Okay, so we're going to come in, we're going to say the 24th, I want it to drip in between two and uh, five views. So what we've added in here in the latest update today is we've added in a percentage. So it's going to send between two and five views for that day. Two and five searches. This is really, really powerful. Okay, one to two views, two to five views. Let's say the 25th, we're going to do one to two views. Okay, add new date. Let's say 26, you see where I'm going here. Oh man, this was a big day. We're going to drop this in on a Saturday. 
6 to 12. Okay, real inventive. All right, next day, I wanted to actually go over to the 29th. I don't want any traffic coming in. Uh, we're just going to kind of balance this. This is a really small, let's say a really small niche. And we're going to drop this in on the 29th, and we're going to drop one to nine views. Holy shnikes, almost made a mistake there. One to nine, add new date. Okay, oops, no time on that. Let's go back to calendar. 30th, we're going to do between six and um, six and 11 views for that day. All right, we're at 31. And for this, we're just going to do uh, two to between two and 16. Holy shnikes. Okay, now I just made a very random thing here, right? This is very, very random. So we have a very random time scheduler here. It starts out on August 23rd, one to two views, two to five views, one to two views, six to 12 views, one to nine views, six to 11 views, two to 16 views, okay? So you have this set up just like this per day. You can now control your traffic 100%. Now, I wanna show you another way of looking at this and let's go ahead and delete these out. All right, so we're gonna go in, same campaign, kaboom. And let's say that you've actually set up another campaign for this. You started out a CTR campaign for the kaboom. And let's say that you're doing CTR in a pretty decent sized city and your actual searches for the month was at uh, your search volume for this. Let's, let's say 25, okay? 25 search volume in the first month. And you've already run this campaign. Now, let's say that you're going to run the next month's campaign at a total of 50, which is definitely an uptick in the views here. And this is something that you will want to experiment with. Now, I don't know if I would double up. Let's say 25, let's say we do 35. And let's say over that first month, you had basically one view per month, per day, sorry, one view per day dripping in. Okay, that's a nice, slow CTR campaign. One view per day for 25 days out of the 30 day month, and the Kraken is sending that in. So let's say on month two, you wanna send in a total of 35, 35 searches. Now the way to do this is, let's say that you start out just like this. And we're going to do this at the beginning of the month. So we're gonna do September 1st, I'm just totally making this up here, right? So September 1st, you have a new month starting out and we're gonna send one to two views, okay? And it's probably gonna get one view delivered on that, okay? On the second month, on the second day of the second month, we have the same thing, one to two months, okay? Let's say that we've done this for week one and then week two and we're heading down towards the end of week two here. Okay, so we're gonna start out on the 15th, and now we're gonna boost this up between two and four views, okay? So week one, we have it set up one to two views. Week two, we have one to two views, and at the end of week two, we start boosting it up two to four views. Okay, you may, uh, you may see what I'm doing here. Two to four views, okay, let's do two to four, 18, two to four, 19, two to four, 20, two to four, 21, two to four. Okay, now 22, we're gonna boost this up a little bit more. We're going to do between three and five searches for 21, okay, 22. 23, 24, 25. Ooh, okay, I'm getting on the fourth week here. Now we're gonna do between four and let's say six, okay? Boom. All right. Now, if you see what I'm doing here, here's what I'm doing is I'm manipulating CTR in real time with the Kraken. 
And the way that I'm manipulating this is, in the first campaign, remember we had it drip out 25 searches over a 30 day period. In the second month, and of course you're going to have to regulate this on the number of views. And this is something I need to talk to the programmers about. What I wanna ask them is, uh, if we put 35 in here, will it only limit it to 35? Or let's say if we put, well, we all want it confusing. So let's just say for the second month, we wanted to boost it up to a little bit more views. So the first two weeks we ran one to two views. In the middle or towards the end of the second week, we started doing two to four views. And by the end of the third week, at the beginning of the fourth week, we boosted that up to three to five searches per day. <laughs> And then we did in the last week between four and six searches per day. Now, if you look at this, what am I doing here is I'm manipulating the CTR searches. Whereas the keyword search volume may be getting 30 searches per month or, you know, on that local keyword, I'm setting that up as a low uh, CTR volume for the first month. And then the second month, I'm slowly moving this up. By month three, I've got it a little bit higher. And what we're doing is we're making it look like in Google that this is a more popular keyword, more people are doing searches for it, and we're slowly raising the bar here, okay? This is what we're doing. We're slowly raising the bar and we're adding more views in and we're really manipulating CTR to the fullest extent here. Because we're making these products or we're making these services, these HVAC or whatever you're doing, service-based industry, CTR, maybe it's a popular product, uh, an affiliate product, whatever it is, we're making it look like you're getting more searches and search volume based on popularity. Now, this would work extremely well for, you know, industry type of programs, local, everything across the board. We all know, and this is something that my members have been asking for some time. We've been talking about this in the mastermind, about driving in more traffic, making it look more legit. And this is one of the ways with the scheduler. Now, one of the updates we're working on this week is we're going to have a save button here to where you can save it as a recipe, as a schedule recipe that we'll be able to do, which is going to be pretty darn cool. And then I've got to talk to the team about the views and the way that the views are being released. And also one other thing is we're going to change up the way that this is set up and make it more fluid. And basically what I've asked the team to do is change the way the scheduler looks and add a giant calendar in here to where you could choose the day that you're wanting to boost, uh, choose what percentage you're wanting to send, and then voila, have it done. Okay, so for now, this is what it looks like. For now, this works great. And in the future, we're gonna have it saved to where you could grab, okay, I've set up the scheduler. Uh, this is how I wanna run it. And then just import your scheduler, imports all your times, and kaboom, literally, you're ready to rock and roll it here. So this is something really awesome, really cool. Of course, it's only with the Kraken. Um, I love coming up with awesome ideas like this and seeing them work. Uh, for my guys so everybody was very excited today when they saw this and I'm totally stoked to see what we're going to be able to come up with the final product on the scheduler here which is uh, really cool so anyways just wanted to create a train video here show you how to properly use the new date scheduler within the Kraken and how to set it up and run it and all that really cool exciting stuff all right guys thanks a lot see you in the next video